Hey everyone, it's Tom here from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me for today's video, the third in our series for the week of Advanced Steel and Dynamo. If you've been following me, you should be up to about this point where we've got the user inputs, we've got a couple of maths functions, a range set up, and all of these points. So I'm just going to move these point by coordinates out of the way and just switch to uh, the mode here where we can see all of those points where we've got. Uh, the southern wall, the northern wall, and the apex of that roof there. So it's probably going to make a little bit more sense uh, once we start getting into the code here. So what I need to do is come into the filter here and do a straight beam node. So it's, this is the advanced steel one. Okay, and this is going to define the start and end point, the orientation of our beam, which we're going to pass on to drawing a beam. So with this, we want to go from this point up to the next point. So this is the bottom of the beam. Or the, in this case, it'll be a column. So this uh, point to this point. So this is the start point, and this is the end point. And now what we've done is basically told Dynamo that we want to use this point and this point to draw a beam from the bottom to the top here of that, that uh, southern wall, I guess. Okay, so we're just going to do one side of the wall for now. Now also what we need to do is we need to actually set the section. Okay, now this is where things start getting a little bit tricky because we need to go back to advanced steel, go to the management tools, and we need to look for uh, the section name that we need to find. So once you're in management tools, go to the table editor, click on the open install databases button here. And once you click on that, it has all the databases open. So firstly, we want to look for a filter called master. Okay, so it's in the profile master table of Astor profiles. Scroll down to the type that you want. Now me being here in Australia, I want to use, uh, let's do UBs. So the type name text is the first thing that I want. So I can copy that. Come back over to advanced steel and type in code. Okay. And that's going to be the first part of our code. And it's all going to make sense once we once we start getting into it here. So that will go into here, and I'll just expand that. And then coming back into Advanced Steel, the table name is the other thing I want to look up. So I want to right click on there, copy it, delete the master filter, and paste in the extas underscore nzsub uh, filter and this is the name the section name that we want to look for So I'm going to throw in some 310 UB 46.2. So I want to right-click copy it and Then over here in the code block Things are going to get a little bit tricky now. So I want to do the hash command at and there's a symbol and it's Alt 0167 and I'll, I'll paste this in the description down below as well and then I want to close that off with an at and a hash and then paste in our UB 310 46.2 okay so now this is oh, I need an error here I need to put this in inverted commas There we go. 
and I'll copy this down into the um, description below. So now this is the section name. We're going to draw a straight beam using the start and end points as the beam element. Okay, now with that, I want to throw a vector in there as well. So let's throw in a vector dot x axis. So that's going to be the orientation of our beam. Okay, and you see you had the error there because we didn't have the orientation. Now if I jump back to advanced steel, you can see those beams have been modeled as the columns there. Now to show you what that's going to look like when we make a change, if I come back here and set this to be 45 meters, and I switch back to advanced steel, I click in here, you can see all of those beams change. Click back, there it is. So now all we have to do is do the same thing for the other side and for the roof beam here as well. So I'm just going to rotate this around a little bit. Now this is the other side. So this is the roof point and this is the other two. This is the north wall. So basically all we need to do is copy paste the same thing, but I just want to delete the um, the connectors for those coordinates and then come back and then rejoin the other side. You can see the other walls have been created. Now when I click back to advanced steel, these have been created. Okay, so now I need to do the exact same thing again for the beam that goes from this southern wall up to the apex and from the northern wall up to the apex and it's all dependent on this point here which is going to be the end point for both so again copy paste the code block paste it down delete the already existing connectors now through deduction this is the top point so this is the start point for the roof beam and this one is going to be the end point for the roof beam. And there we go. And come back to advanced steel. It's already modeled. Do the same thing, copy it one last time. And you can group these, I guess, if you really wanted to. So now we want the start point to be this node over here, which is this point. So that's the start of that beam. And then this point is this coordinate here. And that's the end point. And there we go. Now come back to advanced steel and you'll see we've got all of our beams in there. Okay. So again, just to reiterate, you need to do a straight beam. So define the straight beam by the start and the end point using the point coordinates that we've allocated and adjusting, making sure that you want to orientate it. So that will also define. So if I look at this in uh, top mode, you can see it's facing down the x-axis here. If I change this to a y-axis, then all of these are going to change as well. Okay. So the code block I'll put in the description below. You need to look through the table to find the name. which is taken from the profile master table. It is the type name text. Then you scroll over to the, let me find it again. Scroll over to the table name, copy the table name, search for it in the filter. And then that's the table, and this is the section name that you paste in here. And again, I'll put it in the description below. Once these two are assigned, so the beam is assigned to the beam section, and the code block is the data that it's looking for, and that's the section name. And then we get all of that information in here. 
So to finally show again it working, so let's change it to 36, uh, let's go something longer, let's go 40 meters and let's put in five bays and it's uh, 10 meters wide. The roof height is 10 meters and the wall height is eight meters. So it's all looking okay here in Dynamo. And then when I click back in Advanced Steel, the model changes. So you could use this Dynamo script as a basis for you to model these kind of structures if you're doing a lot of them. So once you do it once, load the Dynamo script and then come back and load it into Advanced Steel. So you've saved yourself a little bit of time. You can also do a similar function with the uh, Portal Gable Frame macro but it's obviously only going to do one and then you need to array that down. So you will need to determine during the course of the project um, which way you want to go, whether you use Dynamo or whether you use the macros. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to follow and you've managed to get the script working for yourself. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. If you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below and I'll uh, endeavor to, to help you with it where I can. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. So what we'll do for the rest of the week, so we've got two more days, I'm going to load up a bridge uh, script that I did a, a long time ago and we're going to see how that works in, in 2020, if there's any changes, if it still works, uh, if the code is still going to be the same and again hopefully it might help you with future projects where you, you can see the benefit of using Dynamo and Advanced Steel. So again, thanks for watching uh, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Advanced Steel and Dynamo. See you later.